Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. They don't do anything to humans, but the chemical released by a spider plant can trigger some nerves in the cats causing some kind of fascination. But, the spider plant attracts cats in part because it is mildly hallucinogenic. Make your mark, take our lead! One of the easiest indoor plants to maintain, the spider plant produces oxygen whilst purifying the air in your home and office by absorbing carbon monoxide, formaldehyde and xylene. Additionally, spider plants are non-toxic and are in fact edible, making them safe for pets and young children. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. 1. Spider Plant Chlorophytum camosum, commonly referred to as spider plants, are safe for dogs and probably one of the most widely recognized house plants. These plants are popular for beginners because they are one of the easiest plants to care for. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. Spider plants prefer bright, indirect sunlight and can thrive without much natural light. These plants can thrive in areas with a mix of fluorescent and natural light. Spider plants can sometimes have browning leaves. Take our lead! The ASPCA lists spider plants as non-toxic for both dogs and cats. But, the spider plant attracts cats in part because it is mildly hallucinogenic. Because cats are more likely to play with the plant, they're more likely to eat it and, therefore, suffer from an upset stomach, vomiting, or diarrhea. Make your mark, take our lead! If the top 1 inch 2.5 centimeters or so of soil is dry, it's time to water your spider plant. Watering moderately or once per week during the first year should be sufficient to keep the soil consistently moist, but not overly wet. After the first year, you can water the plant sporadically. Make your mark, take our lead! Chlorophytum spider plant, the well-known spider plant is also a champion cleanser of air. The NASA tests showed it to remove around 90% of the potentially cancer-causing chemical formaldehyde from the air. This plant helps to filter out harmful benzene, trichloroethylene, and formaldehyde toxins. Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Spider plants Chlorophytum camosum are called this not because they attract and harbor spiders, but rather the little plantlets or offshoots at the ends of long wiry stems are spidery. You may see them called airplane plants for this reason, too. Take our lead! Chlorophytum camosum Spider plant Chlorophytum camosum is a member of the lily family that produces a cluster of foot-long leaves from a crown of fleshy roots. The Victorians called it, ribbon plant, because of its variegated selections. Make your mark, take our lead! Spider plant is native to tropical Africa, so in most of the U.S. it's grown as a house plant, but you can place it outdoors, out of direct sun, during the summer months. Just be sure to bring it back inside before the temperature drops enough to damage the plant. 
Frost will kill this tropical beauty. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.